Good morning, everyone. This is Pastor Tim Hammy, First Summit God in Burlington, Kansas. It is the 27th of January. The, the, the month is coming close to and up close. But I, I want to encourage you is, is as we study God's Word and, and you say, well, Pastor, I, 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 you know, I pray that nothing happens. I, I've sought the Lord and nothing happens. I've I pray that God takes care of this and that and nothing happens. And, and, and that's, that's how I'm going to close this week off, is, is answering the quick question is, I'm praying and still no answer. It's like, it's like sometimes when, when you pray, it feels like you're, you're praying to, to, to the air, to the wind, that nothing ever happens. Well, to answer this question, Many people ask about this. How many times should I pray about something? I prayed and prayed and prayed. Nothing happened. I'm a child of God praying in the name of Jesus according to His will. I want God to, glor to be in the glorified in the situation. So God, hear my cry. Why is there no answer? Sometimes we do everything right, yet we find ourselves without seemingly no answer from God. Here's the because you have to wait does not mean he didn't hear you. Did you hear that? Because you have to wait doesn't mean he didn't hear you. Most times it's just the opposite. Waiting in God is necessary because most answers to prayer involve a much bigger picture than we can know or understand. See, the answers to the, our prayers can involve a process of God setting the stage and moving the, in a supernatural way. Every answer to a prayer is typically preparation for what will happen next. God is not just at a point A to a point B. He is the A to Z. He's the Alpha and Omega. He is the beginning and the end. Much of waiting on God has to do with God preparing us for the challenge or blessings that answers to our prayer will bring. Waiting on God to answer our prayers is not passive thing like waiting on a doc, in a doctor's office or the DMV. Waiting on God, praying according to His will, praying for the answers He has for you. See, we come to the idea that if He doesn't answer us right away, and a, a couple days ago I was talking about waiting at the fast food line, waiting for our, 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 our Happy Meal or whatever. And see, we've come to the idea that if God doesn't answer us right away, He's not going to answer us. And see, my belief is that we need to wait patiently on the Father and, and pray according to His will, according to His time. And see, His time is not always our time. It doesn't run on our 24-hour uh, a day clock or a 60-minute clock or a 60-second clock. It, it, it's on His time. And, and in the Bible, throughout the Bible, we find out how perfect His timing is. And so when you think about it... I. I've been asked a lot of questions about prayer, and, and I was in a house fire and, and when I was four years old, and, and, and I, I died for a little bit, and, and I heard a preacher one time says, well, I prayed for this kid that had scars, and his scars went away like that, and, and that really offended me, he says, because he was healed because he had faith, and I mean, people prayed for me, and I've been prayed for, and, and, and I still have scars, and you know what, I like my scars, but the fact is, it doesn't mean I have a lack of faith. It, it, got, it wasn't God's will that I that I that I that go away with all these scars because they have been such a great ministry tool for me, because the ability to work with children or or, or talk to people about disabilities or, or or whatever, God has opened those doors for me, and God has given me a platform to talk about different issues. And, and see, what you must you might you might have to ask yourself, Matthew six thirty three. Are you pray, praying according to His kingdom? Are you praying, uh, do you want that, per, that thing to happen because it will benefit you? Or do you want that thing to happen to benefit God? That's just a question for you. That's just a question that I, ha I have for you today to close out this. And, and I pray that it blesses you. I pray that it challenges your heart this past week. And, and, and my biggest thing is to challenge you, to, to encourage you to have a deeper prayer walk, prayer life and watch how God bless you. Let me pray for you. Lord, I thank you so much for this week as we studied unlocking the secrets of prayer. 
I pray that you bless every person that watched this week. And Lord God, give them a great weekend. And Lord God, if they don't have a church, Lord, show them the way to our church at 9th and Yuba. So I'm giving you an address. And Lord God, bless them, I pray in your name. Amen. And that's truth. If you don't have a church and you're looking for a church, I would love you to be our guest here on Sunday morning at 1030 as we study God's Word. So may God bless you. Have a great weekend. And if you don't have a church, come see us. God bless you. Bye-bye.